now the property's back up to 500000 it could shoot back up as quickly as it got devalued. So it would not be a 2% increase every right. year. It could be uh, you'll have another $100,000 in assessed valuation immediately. Right. So the Prop 13 it really protects you from the the initial basis Correct. price of Correct. the property but not right? the new, not so so that so that's going to cause some people some consternation if they get set at that new property tax value yeah i have run into some folks who are dealing with that issue at this point in time you know as they as tax bills are, are getting ready to come out here towards yep. uh, november and december when when those um, those payments are due uh, be aware to, you know that if you had a reduction of, in value, that your tax uh, base might be back up to where it was before. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, we got oh, the election <laughs> still a little ways away, you know, but uh, there's a lot of talk uh, in the local economy and the national economy. The debt is still huge. The national debt. It is. Um, do you have any prediction for uh, get, get your crystal ball? <laughs> what crystal are crystal ball. rates, uh, uh, there, interest rates going to be doing? Well, you know, overall, the, the Fed, um, Chairman Bernanke and the Federal Reserve Board, and when they look at interest rate policy, they've indicated to us that through about 2014, they, they plan to keep um, the discount rate, uh, the Fed funds rate, low. It's right now at zero to a quarter percent. All right, and so... Um, we're going to stay in a low-rate environment. Uh, now, does that relate directly to mortgage interest rates on a 30-year fixed rate? They, they don't tie directly. Um, but what that's saying is they expect the economy just to kind of limp along here. As if, if and when the economy begins, begins to pick up, we're going to see interest rates rise again. And pick up, would that be maybe a lower unemployment rate? Or yeah, what, what the, the, the key, factors? yeah, the unemployment rate definitely is there. But GDP, our gross domestic property. We talked property, about that before. You know, yeah. That's been in the 1% to 2% growth range right now. You know, healthier would be 3 to 4%. Um, and then we're going to we'll also take a look at the stock market as well. Um, you know, stock market gave up many of its gains, and just recently it's kind of back to where it was before the dip. Um, but if we start to see the stock market get even more um, interesting for investors to look at, um, it'll pull money away from fixed assets like bonds that pay a fixed rate of return, okay. and, uh, and that also then begins to take interest rates up. So, um, you know, the overall economic activity, and that's really on a national basis, we, I think we've seen employment to an extent start to pick up here in the valley. It's not real vibrant yet, but we've got to see that really expand across the country. Okay, let me ask you something, Todd. Well, interest rates are at the historic lows. I think one of the common questions out there for homeowners that are not selling their property or aren't looking to, but to refinance, what, again, is that threshold that they should look at? I know they should call you first, which is fine. Yeah. They can call you and then check in, but um, at what point does a refinance make sense in terms of a rate? Well, my rule of thumb, and it really will depend a little bit on the interest or the, the loan amount that you have, but typically a half a percent reduction in interest rates for, for homeowners in this area it really starts to make sense. Mm. And so um, I, I like to do an analysis with people where we take a look at what is the cost for doing that. Nice. And, and you can do a no-cost loan. But you know, banks, banks are not benevolent institutions. There's always you know, something that's there. So no it's cost. Like when they open, you open up a checking account, and you get free checking. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right, right. Exactly. You pay for it someplace else. Sense. Same thing with a no cost loan. You that can do sense. a no cost loan, but typically that'll be about a quarter percent higher in interest rate than a no point loan with paying the, the closing costs, which roughly are $3,000 or so. And so we can do some quick and easy math and figure out, you know, where's the break-even point with that? What's best for your situation? How long might you be in that loan or in that property? And then you have the information to, to make a good financial decision Super. Super. about, yeah, you know, what's the best way to do that. So, you know, if someone, you know, says, hey, this, you know, real quick, make a decision, you know, no-cost loan, just sign the papers. 
Yeah, you got to take a look a little bit deeper. And, I think. and of course, now might be a time to look at a 10, 15, or 20 year loan payoff where they can get that. I'm, I'm doing a lot of those with folks. Where that maybe the payment doesn't change much, mm -hmm. uh, it stays stable, but they're putting more down in principle and able to. Um, exactly. You know, uh, the other, pay that yeah, loan off. exactly. And we just can do some analysis to take a analysis look at what that, that time value of paying that mortgage off earlier is going to be in terms of the savings and interest over the course of time. And, and often it's tens of thousands That's of dollars. Terrific. That's terrific. That so if I think folks that don't, uh, you know, are not going to take advantage of the rates right now will be sorry probably in the next year or so. But Yeah, it's, you know, it's been a, a unique time in terms of interest rates. And, um, you know, my grandparents had these sort of interest rates, but not since then. <laughs> yeah, have we seen that? And so it's, it's really it's a once-in-a-lifetime sort of cycle that I think that we're seeing. So it's a good opportunity. Great. Well, um, the next time we meet for a wrap-up, I'll be bringing you some home values and Good. checking in on what Milpitas is doing. And I can only guess that we should see another uptick in, in uh, value. Well, yeah, with what we're seeing with the multiple offers and going over asking price, that would not be a surprise. But bring in the numbers, and we'll take a look, and yep. we'll share those with folks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So if you have any uh, questions that you'd like uh, Todd and I to answer on the show, you can contact me um, at my email address, which is Giordano, G I O R. D A N O D J at AOL dot com. And Todd? I'm at Todd, T O D D, at sternmortgage dot com. S S T E R N, and the word mortgage spelled out. So we'll close for now, and thank you for watching Valley Homes on TV. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.